So it all began back in 2010. Back then, I didn't even have this Canon T3i. I didn't get this until 2011, but that was back then in 2010. I was just making very short trailers, just very goofy stuff that didn't involve me actually doing um, stuff in front of the camera or stuff behind the camera. Then came a point when I took a break from YouTube, working at Halloween Horror Nights, just working in jacks and doing a lot of traveling in between of, of trying to work both and just life in general. I kind of wish I didn't do that. Um, that's always one thing I wish I could go back and fix. 2014, I came back to YouTube and the rebirth for me and my love of creating videos was just something about that year and seeing, I would say a lot of the people that you would normally find who are the top tiers of Orlando vlogging and making videos, those were the people that were sort of getting that fire under me. It was just, I'm talking into a camera, I'm filming stuff, and this is kind of what is the way of storytelling in today's form. 1K just didn't come overnight. I see a lot of people out there, they gain subs like no one's business. I don't understand it. I don't know the magic behind that. For me, 1K was an extremely long journey. It probably took me, I wanna say, from 14 all the way to 2016, I believe, is how long it took me to get to a thousand or at least over a thousand subs. Um, 2017 was a year that the channel went a different route. The gear that I used changed over time, obviously. It started out with the T3i, it still is, but then I got an iPhone 6. I got a better mic. I got external lighting. I got um, my Sony compact camera that I use from time to time. I had a GoPro. I started going to Orlando quite a lot and experiencing new things in that year of hanging out with new people. Then 2018 came and the change and the reinventing of this channel. Mine was a situation that I just couldn't go to the parks really anymore. And um, it was time consuming, it was expensive. Pretty much I was doing it out of the happiness for myself, for the channel and for others. And <laughs> it didn't leave me in a very good place. I wish I would have filmed more. I wish I would have paced myself a little bit better. Um, the UK route is usually they film a lot and then they jam pack it into like a series. I wish I did that rather than just filming and then putting up the video as soon as I got back. And I think overall I did a pretty good job at reinventing this channel. It's not every idea works. The Universal Bites, Disney Bites, Chichen Battleground, that idea didn't work. And what I love doing, my horror talk series, which is something I brought to the channel, something that me and my family share, or at least me and my dad share, uh, that common bond of horror movies. And that's where I get my love of horror movies from. The horror club, and I'm not speaking for every single horror individual out there. Obviously, there's some people that are cool in it. There's some people who are nice and they're very open, um, spooky astronauts great friend, probably the only person I would say in horror who was very open, who was very friendly. And really it feels like it's high school in, in certain ways of YouTube, um, where you have certain groups and certain places where you feel like you fit in and places that you feel like you don't fit in. Obviously the Disney club is not one that I fit in. I've tried numerous videos, I've tried so many Disney videos and they're like the lowest viewed ones on my channel. 
And it's okay I don't fit in with the normal horror YouTube crowd. That's okay to me because it forces me to try to do above and beyond, to push myself. So I love that. We are finally at 2K. How does it feel? It just, it feels great, but it doesn't really have that feeling of setting in like the first thousand. I don't know why, but it just kind of pushes you to think, let's do 3K. That's really how it feels. And so I really want to say thank you to every single person that has subscribed to the channel who's thumbs up, who leaves comments. I see some of you guys returning all the time in the comment section. And it does put a smile on my face. Especially when they spend four hours on a video. Uh, just seeing someone enjoyed it, that's the satisfaction that we get. I mean, sure there's money involved, but that's not really that much. <laughs> so a comment, a like, those are all great things that kind of ensures us that what we're doing is is right and great but it's time for me to shout out the next person and that is that florida guy um he's under 2k he's like 1700 and something and i sure would love for you guys to go and check out his videos go check out his content the color grading just the visual effects the slow motion the b-roll he does so much stuff that it would sure make him happy just to see him get to 2K. It would make me happy as well. So definitely check out his channel. Link will be down in the description box. If you go over there, please let him know that I sent you over there. He'll get a kick out of that. Just tell him Zombie sent you and uh, he'll love it. That is it for this long 2K video. Hope my camera is about to run out of memory. Adios. Good night. Thank you guys for 2K. See you on the next video. Peace.